Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 10 of the same topic. We'll start with question number 9. A sum of rupees 15,000 amounts to rupees 19,800 in 4 years. Calculate the rate of simple interest. So whenever it says amounts to this one means the amount is given as 19,800. Many of them get confused which is the principal and which is the amount. And this principal is 15,000. So you have to take care with this one. And it's given in 4 years means T is 4 years. We have to find out rate of simple interest. So R is. So now what we have if we are taking directly I is equal to P into R into T by 100. So what we don't know the interest. We know the principal. We don't know the rate of interest. And we know the time so two things are unknown here so we cannot do with this formula so first thing what we have to do we have to find out the interest so that is a is equal to p plus i so we know the amount we know the principal so first thing we are going to find out the interest so we'll start with amount is equal to p plus i so amount is given as 19,800 this is 15,000 and we will find out i so this goes here so that is going to be minus 15,000 which is I and when we subtract this that will be 4800 so now we will take we want the rate so we will use this formula I is equal to P into R into T by 100 so this 4800 is 15,000 into rate we don't know into T or 4 divided by 100 so now what you can do you can cancel these two zeros so now this 4,800 is on the left hand side. If we take this 150 into 4 on the other side, it will go to the denominator that is R. So you can simplify this one. See how it is simplified. So the rate is 8% per annum. What sum of money will amount to the piece 7540 in 2 years at 8% per annum? Simple interest. Now again here the amount to the business means amount is 7540, T is 2 years and R is 8%. So now here uh, we again here what we can do here we just have the amount time this one the time is given and the rate is given. So we will consider this P as rupees 100. So this is a little different problem here. So let us consider this P as 100. So first thing what you are going to do we'll start with the interest so we have taken uh, p as 100 so the formula is p into r into t by 100 so in place of p we will take 100 this will be given as 8 and this is given as 2 divided by 100 so this and this gets cancelled so this is going to be 16 so i is rupees 16 so now we got i is 16 so now what will you do here amount is equal to we want the sum of money that is we want the uh, principal so the this will be now amount is going to be P plus I. So principal is 100 and this I, we got this interest for 100 as 16. That will be amount is 116. So here, now what will we do? If amount is 116, the principal here is for, we have considered this amount for rupees 100. So we are doing this again. So if amount is 116, the principal is 100. So if amount is this, the original is given as 7540, what will be the principal? So this is, let us consider the principal. So again, I'll repeat. When amount is 116, for this principal, we have considered this is 100. So the original, the principal is 7540. So what is the principal? So this will be X. So now we are going to cross multiply this one. So that will be 116 into X will be 100 into 7540. So this step is important. We will cross multiply. So X will be, this will be on its place and this will go in the denominator. So when you simplify this one, you will get here. So this will be 65 and here that will be 6500. So principal is rupees 6500. So that is the hours, that is the sum, which is the principle. Now a certain sum amounts to 8400 in 3 years at 4% simple interest. Find the sum. Again here it's the same. So the amount is given as 8400. T is given as 3 years and R is 4%. So again let P be 100. So now let us find out the interest for this one. 
So P into R into T by 100. So we will take this 100, 4, 3 and by 100. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is the interest is for this when you take P as 100. So this is 100, this is 12. So now A is P plus I. So we will be P is 100, 100 plus 12, that will be A is 112. So again, if you write here, if amount whenever is 112, the principal is 100. So we want the amount is given as 8400. When it is 8400, what will be the principal? Again, this also we are going to cross multiply. So 112 into X, that will be 8400 into 100. So X will be 8400 into 100 and this will get divided by 112 so this will be 75 so 75 into 100 that will be 7500 so principal is rupees 7500 the simple interest on a certain sum for two years at eight percent per annum is rupees 4800 find the sum so interest is given as because the simple interest on the simple this is give is 4800 so the interest is 4800 so t is two years and r is eight percent and we don't know we have to find the sum means the principal so i is p into r into t by 100 so the interest is given as 4800 is given so we don't know p r is eight and here this is t so now 4800 when you take this on the side so that is going to get multiplied and this will go in the denominator is P. So when you simplify this one, you get that is 30,000. So 30,000 is P and that is therefore the sum is rupees 30,000. Saurabh lent rupees 50,000 to his friend. He gave rupees 30,000 at 12% and the remaining amount at 15%. How much interest did he receive in four years? So we'll take the first thing is giving 30,000 at 12 percent and the remaining amount at 15 percent. There are two cases over here. So now let us write the case one that is principal is 30,000 and the rate of interest is 12 percent. And it is the this is the term that is number of years is the same for both of them four years. So what will you do? We'll see the interest first that is P into R into T by 100. So this will be 30,000 into 12 into 4 by 100. So this should be 14,400. So in the case two, what happens here? Now see here, he's giving 30,000. Totally he's lending 50,000. So remaining will be how much for the remaining amount means? It is 50 minus 30, that is going to be 20,000. So the, whenever the principal is 20,000, the rate of interest is, is 15%. And the term is the same, that is four years. So here again, we'll do I is equal to P into R into T by 100. So here we will take 20,000. So 20,000 into 15 by into 4 by 100. So this and this gets cancelled. When you multiply this one, you get 12,000. So here you got it's 14,400. And here the interest is 12,000. So first we have to see the total interest received. So how much 14,400 plus this 12,000. So that is going to be 26,400. So they said, how much interest is he receive in four years? So we have to add both of them. So this is the answer. Mrs. Asha donated rupees 75,000 to Children Welfare Trust with the condition that the interest on the sum is to be used for awarding five scholarships of equal value each year to the physically handicapped children. If the donation earns an interest of 12% per annum, find the value of each scholarship. So amount donated by Mrs. Asha is how much? 75,000. So what is the rate that is given this as 12% per annum? So now 12% per annum is on the amount. So what will you do here? 12% for the, the you will write here 12 because this is percentage you will divide by 100. On amount means that will be multiplied by this 75,000. So this is going to be 9,000. So now how many these are the five scholarships are there and all should be equal. So number of scholarship is five. So value of each scholarship is going to be, you're going to divide this amount among five. That is five. So that will be 1800. So this is the answer because they are value of each scholarship. A farmer borrowed rupees 60,000 at 15% interest per annum from a money lender. At the end of two years, he cleared his account by paying rupees 40,000 and a cow. 
find the cost of the curve. So now the principal is 60,000. The rate of interest is given as 15 percentage and the term is two years. So I is P into R into T by 100. So 60,000 into this I, this uh, R into this two, that is R is 15, here two divided by 100. So this should be 18,000. So the interest is 18,000. But then what did they say? Find the cost of the cow. So the amount is what? First we have to see the amount. This we got as the interest. Amount is P plus I. So what is the principal? 60,000 plus this 18,000 is the interest. So the amount is 78,000. So cost of goat will be how much? From this 78,000, you are going to subtract what this did say by paying 40,000 and a cow. So from this one, you are going to subtract this 40,000. So from this 78, because this is the amount, from this you are going to subtract 48,000 to see the cost of goat. So this is 38,000. So see here, they said find the cost of the cow and the cost of, sorry, this is actually cow not goat okay that is the cost of cow yes so that is 38,000 a sum of money becomes double in 10 years at a certain rate of interest and find the rate of interest so now here we don't know the it's a, because they said a sum of money sum of money means the principal so what happens here the principal We can take this as x. So it doubles in, becomes double in 10 years. So a sum of money becomes double in 10 years at a certain rate of interest and you have to find this one. So A will be what? 2x. So if the principal is x, the A is going to be 2x. So here we can consider if P we are taking x, so I also should be x. So T is 10 years, in 10 years. So now we'll see the interest first. So now what is that? T is P into R into T by 100. So I, we are also considered this as X. P is X. This will be R. We have to find the rate of interest. And T is 10 divided by 100. So what will you do here? This will be X into 100 will come in the numerator. And this X and this 10 will go in the denominator. We have to find that R. So let this, we keep this R on the right hand side. So this and this gets cancelled. 10 ones are 10 tens are so r is 10 percent that is per annum so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you